Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Funny White Man Show. I'm Funny White Man and as you know, this is where we bring you nothing but the best straight out of Africa. Well, my first guest today is a, a housemate of Big Brother Niger 2017. And then uh, he's going to be joining us on the show very shortly. But as you know, every week I go into the street to bring you interesting and very funny videos. Check this out. We'll be right back. It was actually a very funny one. Like I said before the break, my first guest on the show today is an ex Big Brother Ninja 2017 housemate. Please welcome me, Yonse. Hello. Big man. <laughs> my guy. Fresh boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so nice to have you on the show. It's Thank very, you so it's much. a pleasure Thank you so to be on the show. Man. Thank you very much. Thanks see, for inviting me. Yeah, yeah so you, you're welcome. I can see Chef Miyose. Yes. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's cut to the chase. Let's get right straight to it, okay? Yes. Um, we know you from Big Brother Niger. You become so popular. Girls are beginning to like you, both older and younger. Girls used to like me before I was. Okay, no, Wala. <laughs> but let, I, I love to know you differently. Okay. So tell me about Miyonsi, when we don't know. When we don't know. Yeah, we know you from Big Brother. I'm going to know you from somewhere else. <laughs> well, everything inside the Big Brother is the Miyonsi way on a no no. We on a con no. Okay. <laughs> now I'm talking about, okay, uh, way back, okay, I was this, I was that, my educational background, uh, stuff like that. Okay. Yes. Um, right. Um, uh, let me see. <laughs> I'm 24 years old. Really? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, no, you know. <laughs> <laughs> As my <laughs> yes, now uh, I call you brother out of this. Yes, I saw brother with him. Brother funny my my it's my my guy. Show fight. The day is brother calling money for bank. <laughs> Who's brother here? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. I attended University of Lagos Mass Communication. Are you serious? Yes, I'm a mass okay. graduate. Okay. Shout out to my Cockite people, you okay. know. Um, yes, I proceeded to culinary school. I had the passion for cooking um, from when I was, I was still like 10 years old, you know. Okay. Um, my mom encouraged me to cook, you know. Okay. And I started, I learned my, my first uh, culinary experience was fr in my kitchen. Really? Yes, with my sister. Okay. So um, I will breeze through culinary school, and um, after six months, yeah. um, I was I was retained. Wow. <coughs> I was retained as a culinary instructor, what? so I did that for about close to a year. You know, before I went to Abuja to yeah. become a sous chef in an Italian restaurant. I need to write that down. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, after uh, I was a sous chef for for a while before I be became the head chef. Oh. Then I proceeded into the Big Brother house. Wow! And I now I know, <coughs> now I know why. Because excuse me, I was wondering how you got some things going in the house. Because you just say you just cook one wicked Indomie one day, boy egg. Now once you just look, say ah, you are like my future husband. <laughs> <laughs> which is also, which is also nice. So uh, it's actually nice because uh, the world is open to you now. People get to know you, and your business can thrive as a chef. Yes. And Big Brother is done for you right now. How has the reception been now that you're back home? Well, the reception has been marvelous. Um, okay. I've gone to several places and they've shown me nothing but love. Really? What kind wow. of is it like, which kind of love? Which kind of love? <laughs> if I like I give you love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> no, uh, no, it's been wonderful, you know. Okay. I never see I used to say this. And I'll keep on saying it. I never knew this much people watched the Big Brother. Amazing. And everything I did there, I was like, I don't even know if people, they see me. Me, I just do my thing, do yeah, be myself, okay, you okay. know. I, I did not know this. People paid so much keen interest to the Big Brother show. So, okay. yes, it did not change my, uh, it did not alter the, my personality. I was just who I was in the house. Okay. So coming back to me, from the airport, Naim, yeah. I don't know, say people they watch Big Brother. South Africans they hail me. Really? And they look them wow. say, I you don't know. Like that, that really? And they look them say, what did they try to talk? But then I got to Lagos. Yeah. Man, I saw a mammoth crowd. They wanted to take pictures. I was like, what? You so people were watching. They were giving autographs and everything. They never reached that level. 
<laughs> I brought a... I was like, people were watching and I was stunned, you know. Yeah. And since then, it's it's nothing but love, man. Everyone I've seen, everyone I've met, you know, they've had something good to say, you know, about the show, about me, you know. Even it has ever, I appreciate them, you know, because yeah. they put, they keep pushing the brand. Definitely. I have to love the lovers and and love the haters too. I, I love oh, that joy. philosophy. I love the philosophy. Oh, joy. Let, let's take it back you, Why you were in the Big Brother house. You were very close to a particular lady. I was close to everyone. No, very, like, much closer to someone. Oh, oh yeah, much closer to someone. you can't be someone. closer to everyone, you need to spend <coughs> much time with some people. Yeah. <coughs> okay. <understand>? <laughs> Tibos is her name, and you're very close to her. Can you tell us more about it? Is that real or just a game? Um, with Tibos, it's um, it has been friendship from first sight. And I met her at the audition stage, and we were we just hit it off instantly. We were good friends, you know. Good friends. Okay. Yeah, very good friends. And going into the house, um, I'm sure if you are in a, a jungle, let's let's leave it. Let's let's use a, a jungle. Yeah. And um, you are with. 11 other people yeah people you're not sh uh, you, 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 you don't, don't know you didn't know and yeah. you out of this okay let's say 10 yeah. and out of this 10 there is just one person you know i'm sure you would lean more to the person you would you would uh, affiliate more with that person yeah and that was it with me and tibos uh i and tibos uh tibos and uh we 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 were I just, I just saw. Okay, she's my friend. She was my friend outside okay. the house. You okay, know. she was your friend, and then, um, but that kind of friendship, I don't understand, because I can't. Is it? 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 Everyone has, they have equal opportunity to win because okay. um, the game is so nebulous. The game can't be predicted because, you know, one step, it's a, it's a one step at a time game, you know. Okay. You might think this person is going the right direction yeah. and something happens. And the VR is like, nah, 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 nah. This guy doesn't deserve to win, okay. you know. So that is it with everyone currently in the house, you know. Okay. So uh, they, they all have equal opportunity to win. At the same time, they all have equal opportunity to be evicted. Definitely. Yeah. You know, you know one, one thing that fascinates me about the house? You know, still people, when they, when they, the, the beginning, they'll talk, say, this is my strategy. I'll go into the house. And immediately they get in. <laughs> It's as if it's another See, word entirely. Exactly. Once you walk through that, that door, um, sometimes, not sometimes, most of the time, yeah. things change. Once you walk in there, you just, everything just changes. The whole thing, you might walk in with a strategy like, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Then you find that they are, you are letting yourself go already. You are forgetting, you know, that this is your particular strategy. My strategy was having no strategy. Wow. Like, in the sense that I was just going to be myself, cook for the ladies, you know, do the nice. normal, do the normal thing, hang out with guys, speak to the ladies, play with them, make them laugh, cook. I'm good, you know. Yeah. Entertain most, of, most especially entertain the audience, okay. the the viewers. Okay. That was that was that was that was um, the, my topmost priority. Okay, which 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 was nice, and we did enjoy you. I like like I said, you were my. Yeah, you are a lot of people's freebie now. <laughs> they just say, ah, make I Google this thing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I go there in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now that you're done with Big Brother, what has changed? Um, Is it, like, let me, let me rephrase the question. Maybe b b b before, if you go buy Bole, before, if you go one or two joints, when they, they collect one or two <laughs> rounds, you understand? Okay, to start with, <clears throat> I'll get to that part. Okay. But um, the way I view life yeah. the way i view the world is different okay. right now you know i i see things from a wider perspective right now and um you know it's it's just not the same you know you when you meet people of diverse backgrounds yeah you know with diverse level of intelligence yeah. with the way um they conduct themselves you know it's you you, you begin to see things differently first Second, um, trust me, I wasn't the same person that I walked out of Big Brother that I entered. Yeah. You know, um, 
I've, I'm more confident of my abilities right now, you know. I believe the world is my playground now. I believe my, I have stronger convictions about who I am, I, what I can achieve, yeah. you know. That is what Big Brother will do to you. It's going to tap into your innermost stability and bring it out, you know. Mm. There were some things I never did before I got into the brain. I never used to dance. <laughs> I did not like to party. So that was one of the things that has changed about you? Yes. Okay. Definitely. I like that. I like it's, that. It's um, more of a psychological change. You know? Okay. If you had another opportunity to get into the house, the you one will see before now, we will see again. Or you played the game differently. Um, I, I, I don't think there is really nothing I would have done so, so much differently to, to change what happened. You okay. know? Um, if you have something that people envy in you, you yeah. would you, obviously you always be a victim. Okay. So if I, I, I wouldn't put myself down just to make other people feel okay. good. You know, the sky is big enough for everyone to fly. Definitely. You know what, talking about Big Brother, I'd like you to see particular videos from our friend, uh, very, very okay. nice guy. Let's see this video, please. It's not Big Brother. Enter diary room. Bros, I found Bros, I giz like giz do. Why you not wear shirt? Ah, <laughs> bros. Who shirt it? Why you hold the mic for hand like that now? <laughs> bros, now wow. Who naked need to put one for pocket now? Jesus! Ah, Who you want me come up for this ass? He? Bros, now I boss, I want come up for this ass. Mm -hmm. so. Why now? Ah, ah. <laughs> Now what they see the accent. He not get level now. He grow we not get egg now. Pop pop now. We hey, do keep fire. He supposed come up for this house. You know, you said no say now past away not get members. Now get time for demon. I pass to hear of this. Baba make a boss clear. So you appear so now lose the wager so. Bros, where they say no condition is permanent. You not concern woman with breast don't fall now. Funka. Cause that's a permanent condition. Hey! I hear me to me. <laughs> That was actually from our friend Romeo. You know, guys, now because of this big brother, they're already creative. <laughs> and I just imagine this that was, guy that was, that, was an, that was a very interesting skill. If this guy entered that house, how it could be? Okay, you're a chef, you're out of the house now. What should Nigerians expect from your brand? Oh, okay. Um, yes. Being, uh, being in the house, you yeah. know, it uh, made the world see what I can do. Yeah. And that is just a tip of the iceberg. I can do more. Okay. Um, immediately I go out of the house. Um, I had um, a feast, feast of love. I fed them. Um, yeah, I cooked yeah. for three orphanages, saw, and saw, saw, that was sponsored pictures. by Payport, you yeah. know. And I have other initiatives coming out. Okay. Um, by next week, um, something is going to be on my on my Instagram page right now, and um, it's 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 going to be on. Okay, definitely, definitely. We're going to be looking forward to that. And uh, you know what? You, I, I feel mo most of you guys that, that go into this game, Big Brother game, they start acting, doing TV, presenting, modeling. You should not expect that from you. Well, um, aside um, my chef, um, yeah. the, the chef line I'm trying to position myself as, yeah. yes, um, I'm, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll be welcoming... Um, Activities. Other aspects, you know, oh, I'm really? going to explore the aspects. Definitely. Um, the modeling aspect, you know, the acting aspect. Yeah. But really most especially, aspect. you know, yeah. I am positioning myself as a chef. Okay, okay. And me, me, I would love to taste your food. Yeah, and that's, that is going to come up pretty soon. Okay. In about a few days okay. from now. So, yeah. should I come to your house? They should just stay glued to my Instagram page. No, I, I don't want to shop for Instagram. I want to shop your food. Not yeah, me. they should stay glued to my It's true. That is my medium of communication. Oh, really? I yes. cannot call your manager? Uh, no, don't call my manager. You, you get the info on my Instagram page. <laughs> okay, well, Mayans, it's been so nice having you on the show. And um, I wish you all the best. I expect what you stand for. And um, more grace and favor to you, my brother. Thank you very much. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed uh, the amazing Beyonce. Please, guys, watch out for all the good things that's going to be coming from this bad guy. It's amazing. And uh, that's all we have for you on the show today. Until next time, keep laughing and we love you. Bye-bye.